Welcome back, I'm Lena Bond. Before we dive into a few of the changes some UO teams face this offseason, let's get you all caught up on what's going on in the world of Oregon athletics. Oregon freshman closer Kenyon Yovin is one of 40 relief pitchers named to the midseason watch list for the 13th annual National Collegiate Baseball Writers Association Stopper of the Year Award, released on Wednesday. Yovan, who hands from our very own Beaverton, Oregon, leads the Pac-12 conference and is tied for fourth in the nation with 12 saves. Also, Yovan, who is just one of four freshmen on the list, has struck out 25 while just walking two batters in 20.1 innings pitched. Stopper of the Year finalist will be announced June 7th. Moving on to Acro, the number one seeded Oregon Acrobatics and Tumbling team is set to compete at the 2017 National Championships. The Acrobatics and Tumbling Association National Competition will be hosted by the Azusa Pacific Cougars at the Felix Center April 27th through the 29th. In hopes of claiming the program's fifth national title, the Ducks will square off against the number eight King University Tornado in Thursday's quarterfinals at 2 p.m. Moving on to the hardwood, it's been a short offseason for Oregon men's basketball coach Dana Altman, but an active one, as he's working to add four to five more scholarship players to the roster by the start of next season. Altman and Ducks took a big step forward in that effort on Monday, landing 24-7 sports four-star power forward Kenny Wooten Jr., rated the nation's 89th best prospect. Las Vegas native Wooten averaged 13.6 points, 1.7 assists, 11 rebounds, and four blocks per game in high school. Sounds a little Jordan Bell-esque, doesn't it? With Wooten's commitment, Oregon has a recruiting class that is flirting with top 10 status as he joins five-star small forward Troy Brown Jr. and four-star wings VJ Bailey and Abu Kajib. Basketball isn't the only program at Oregon undergoing some serious changes this offseason. This Saturday, students and fans alike will push through Autzen's gates to watch some Ducks football once again at the annual spring game. But this won't be the same team we all saw last fall. Ever since Mark Helfrich was fired back in November, the culture around Oregon football has been flipped upside down and turned inside out under the new do-something system of head coach Willie Taggart. Reporter Armin Aradian has more. Ever since Mark Helfrich was fired back in November, Oregon football has seen a ton of changes. Willie Taggart was brought in from USF to be the next head coach, along with his staff from all around the country from programs like Alabama and Colorado. Win the day has been replaced by do-something, and the program's culture has seen sweeping changes. Players like Whiteout Darren Carrington have already started to notice the changes. They definitely instill that new intensity of uh, just butt button heads and just uh, having that camaraderie, camaraderie and uh, competing against each other every time. The new staff hasn't only changed the way they approach their jobs on the field. Tyrant staff heavily uses Twitter and other social media to connect with their players and engage with the recruits off the field. Taggart himself has even said that he plays a Madden video game with the team. Running back Royce Freeman explains how that helps the team bond. It just shows them trying to bond with the players, trying to make connections, you know, just trying to be on our level for once. I mean, it's, it's different seeing that from coaches. Armin Aradian, Oregon News. Thanks, Armin. Hey, Kendra, is it going to rain on our ducks this Saturday for the spring game? No, Lena. The rain is actually taking a rain check this weekend. For those who are heading into town for the game, here's what the weekend forecast will look like for Eugene. Friday will be cloudy with times of sun. Saturday will be mostly sunny, so if you're planning on coming to the game, you will finally break out those sunglasses again. But sadly, the spring sunshine will fall back to cloudy skies on Sunday with highs in the upper 50s and lows in the 40s. If you're traveling to Las Vegas, like I wish I was, pack sunscreen and shorts because it's going to be sunny all three days. Friday, will be, Friday and Saturday will be highs in the upper 70s and lows in the 50s. Sunday will, look, will be warmer with highs in the 80s and lows in the 60s. If you're staying in Oregon and heading up to Portland this weekend, Friday and Saturday will be mainly cloudy with highs in the 60s and lows in the 40s. Saturday will have a slight shower, so I'd recommend bringing a rain jacket. If you're thinking about a little beach getaway, Newport weather will look similar to Eugene with clouds all weekend. That's it for weather. Back to the anchor desk. Thanks, Kendra. This past winter's weather has been harsh for our bee population. Coming up after the break, learn what all the buzz is about. And we'll fill you in on why local artists are creating bowls for a cause. 